जय पीजन वल्लभा गिरीवरदारी यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन शोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीरावन नातीरावन चारी यमुना तीरावन चारी नातीरावन चारी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय गौरनीताय जय गौरनीताय जय गौरनीताय जय गौरनीताय जय गौरनीताय जय गौरनीताय गौरनीताय जय गौरनीता जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बल देवा जय सुभद्र जय जगन्नाथ गन्नाद जय जय राधा बल्लभ राधा बल्लभ श्री राधे जय राधा बल्लभ राधा बल्लभ श्री राधे जय जय प्रभु पार प्रभु पार प्रभु पा जय जय प्रभु पा जय जय प्रभु पा प्रभु पा प्रभु पा जय जय प्रभु पा शिल प्रभु पा की जय जय हम विष्णु पाद प्रम से परिवाज कचार्य श्रोत्र शत श्री इष्ट बहन गए से श्री भक्त वेदांत स्वामी शिला प्रभु पाद की जय हम विष्णु पाद प्रम से परिवाज कचार्य श्रोत्र शत श्री इष्ट बहन गए 
భక్తి సిద్ధాంత సరస్వతీ ఠాకూర్ శిల ప్రభుపాదికి అనంతకోటి వైష్ణవ బృందకి గ్రంథరాజ్ శ్రీమద్ భాగవతంకి మితా గౌర్ ప్రేమానందే హరి ఆల్ గ్లోరీ స్టో అసెంబుల్ డ్యూట ఆల్ గ్లోరీ స్టో అసెంబుల్ ఆల్ గ్లోరీ స్టో అసెంబుల్ డ్యూష్ హరి కృష్ణ ఎమర్జెన్సీ ప్లేయర్ ప్లేయర్ సిక్కింగ్ యువర్ బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ టు స్పీక్ భాగవతం ఓం నమో భగవతే వాసుదేవాయ ఓం నమో భగవతే వాసుదేవాయ ఓం నమో భగవతే వాసుదేవాయ reading from shrimad bhagavatam canto 7 chapter 1 text number 2 chapter title the supreme lord is equal to everyone nahyasya artha suraganae nahyasya artha suraganae sakshan nishreya satmanah నైవాసురేభ్యో విద్వేషో నోద్వేగాగుణస్యీ నాహ్యసురగణై సాక్షాన్నిశ్రేయసాత్మన నైవాసురేభ్యో విద్వేషో నోద్వేగాగుణస్యీ నాహ్యాసురగణోహదాసురగణై సాక్షాన్నిశ్రేయసాత్మన నైవాసురేభ్యో విద్వేషో నోద్వేగాగుణస్యేయసాత్మనేయసాత్మనేభ్యో నాహ్యాసురగణై సాక్షాన్నిశ్రేయసాత్మన నైవాసురేభ్యో విశ్వేషో నైవాసురేభ్యో విద్వేషో నోద్వేగాగుణస్యాహ్యాసురగణై సాక్షాన్నిశ్రేయసాత్మన వాసురేభ్యో విద్వేషో నోద్వేగాగుణస్యీ న not he certainly asya his artaha benefit interest suraganai with the demigods sakshat personally nishreyasa of the highest bliss atmanah whose nature na not eva certainly 
asurebhya for the demons vidvesha envy na not udvegah fear cha and agunasya who possesses no material qualities he certainly translation and purport by his divine gashila prabhupad chila prabhupad lord vishnu himself the supreme personality of godhead is the reservoir of all pleasure therefore what benefit would he derive from siding with the demigods what interest would he fulfill in this way since the lord is transcendental why should he fear the asuras and how could he be envious of them purport we should always remember the distinction between spiritual and material that which is material is infected by material qualities but these qualities cannot touch that which is spiritual or transcendental krishna is absolute whether he is in the material world or spiritual world when we see pers- partiality in krishna this vision is due to his external energy otherwise how could his enemies attain salvation after being killed by him everyone who deals with the supreme personality of godhead gradually acquires the qualities of the lord the more one advances in spiritual consciousness the less he is affected by the duality of material qualities the supreme lord therefore must certainly be freed from these qualities his enmity and friendship are external features presented by the material energy he is always transcendental he is absolute whether he kills or bestows his favor envy and friendship arise in one who is imperfect we fear our enemies because in the material world we are always in need of help the lord however does not need anyone's help for he is atma rama the lord says in bhagavad gita 926 patram pushvam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayashyati tadaham bhaktya upahrutam ashnami prayatatmanah if a devotee offers me with devotion a little leaf a flower fruit or water i shall accept it why does the lord say this he is independent on the offering of the devotee he is not actually dependent but he like likes to be dependent upon his devotee this is his mercy similarly he does not fear the asuras thus there is no question of partiality in the supreme personality of godhead ओम अज्ञातिरंदस्य ज्ञानाजनाशलाकया चक्षुन्मील येन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम जय श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमो भगवते तस्म कृष्णा कुंतमेदसे यहाँ संहित हरे कृष्ण आई सी ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ ऑल द वैष्णो वॉज प्रेजेंट हियर सो देर समबडी एल्स वॉज रोस्टेड टू गिव दिस क्लास बट दे वर नॉट हियर बै द मेरसी ऑफ द वैष्णो वॉज एंड डिवोट इज आई एम हियर टू स्पीक ऑन श्रीमद भागवतम दो आई हैव नो क्वालिफिकेशन but the only qualification is the mercy of devotees and vash in the lord and my spiritual master and in the glorification of shrimad bhagavatam shila sanatan goswami he says asadus da sadhuta dayin ati niche ucha taraka even the niche like me can speak on shrimad bhagavatam is the glory of shrimad bhagavatam so here we see in this in this canto how um lord is equal and the mercy of the lord and how how he personally takes care of his devotee 
in every aspect. In the purport, Srila Prabhupada has mentioned that everyone who deals with the Supreme Personality of Godhead gradually acquires the qualities of the Lord. So even not just the Lord, even the devotees of the Lord who associate with the Lord acquires the qualities of the Lord. In the Bhagavatam, it is mentioned all the devotees of the Lord, they possess all the good qualities of the demigods. Because, and every quality we experience in this material world is, a, is coming from the Supreme Lord Himself. And in, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, we read that Lord has total 64 qualities. And in the material world, the highest person, Lord Brahma, can possess up to the 50 qualities. And the perfected beings, Narayana possesses 60 qualities and the Supreme Lord has the highest qualities. And all the qualities which we have, they are coming from the Lord. It's like an iron rod kept in the fire. So after some time, automatically it becomes the, and it gets the nature of the fire. Similarly, we are, as we are engaged in the service of the Lord, all the good qualities come to us. And and how it come, when it come, you know, it's very hard to define. You know, as we associate with the Lord in the, in the form of His holy name, in the form of reading Srimad Bhagavatam, any qualities, any nine process of devotional service are there to purify our consciousness. And that's what we see in our day-to-day -day progress. So, I, I can... I can see myself, how I was in 2012 when I came to Australia and 2022. It's like a um, Kali Yuga finished and Satya Yuga started. <laughs> so that, that difference I could see in my own consciousness. So it's all what we hear from Srimad Bhagavatam. We are the examples. And Srimad Bhagavatam, Asadu Sadhu Tadayan, Achi Nito Hocha Tharaka. So even the greatest sinful person can be elevated to the greatest level of a devotee. So we have so many examples of devotional service elevating the qualities of a person. So the best example we can get, take from the uh, Chaitanya Charita Amrita, which uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu narrates in the context of Atma Rama verse. He says, how a person, although very low, lowly degraded person, when he comes in contact with the Lord and the devotees, pure devotees, how they can be elevated. We see in the case of Murugari. So when Narad Muni was traveling in the outer space, he sees Murugari. And Murugari was half killing the animals. He was, he was very much degraded condition. So Narad Muni was compassionate. He comes down and sees these half killed animals were fluffing in pain, then he approaches Murugari. So Murugari was so fearful, ferocious person with all the black things. And Narad Muni asked Murugari, if you want to kill, why are you not killing completely? Why you are leaving this? In that way, half killed. And Murugari says, this is what my father taught me. Then Narad Muni asked, but do you know it's a sin? Murugari says, what is sin means? He doesn't even know what is sin. Then Narad Muni explains, you know, you have to suffer for this activity. Murugari says, oh, okay, then what should I do? Narad Muni says, okay, you leave your bow and arrows and you follow what I say, become a devotee. And Murugari says, then what happens? I have my family, kids, how can I take care of them? Narad Muni says, don't worry, you go to the bank of a river and whatever possessions you have, just give it away. And you chant the Hare Krishna mantra, have Tulasi and worship Tulasi and whatever necessity is required for you, I will supply. And Murugari obviously, he, he accepts the order of Narad Muni. He goes to his wife, tells what Narad Muni has instructed. Then this news spread across everybody that Nugari had become a Vaishnava. And then, you see, um, he, he has his hut and he is worshipping Tulasi. Thus, whoever, in first his wife asked, Oh, you said your 
spiritual master will send um, boga for you to cook and to maintain family. And Nugara said, yeah, Narad Muni has told me, he will certainly send. And as the time passes, everybody, whoever visits, they bring some eatables for Nugari. And so much they bring that Nugari cannot, because Narad Muni gives another instruction that whatever you required for that day, you consume, and whatever extra, you donate to others. And as the time progress, one year passes, Narad Muni, um, along with Parvata Muni, they both come to see Murugari. So while they were coming, so Murugari, from the far, he sees Narad Muni and Parvata Muni. He was running hastily towards Narad Muni and Parvata Muni. While he was coming, on the way, he was jumping here, there, and suddenly he stops. And finally, he reaches Narad Muni and Parvat Muni. And before offering obeisances with his towel, he was cleaning the floor, the ground. And then Parvat Muni, surprised, he asked, Murugari, from the far you saw us, and you were running very hastily, but why you were jumping in the middle, and what were you doing before offering obeisances? And Murugari says, you know, while I was running towards you, I saw some ants are crossing. And before offering obeisances, I see some ants are there. That's why I don't want to hurt them. Then he says, he tells, oh, what a transformation. So devotional service, it doesn't matter who we are, where we are coming from, what background we are in. So, as soon as one comes in contact with devotional service, immediately there is a transformation. And how long it takes, it depends. Like, a, if you put in a fire a um, grass, which is very fresh grass, because its moisture is there, it won't burn immediately. But as long as it associated with the fire, it is certainly burns. Similarly, Devotional service, even the, what to speak of devotional service, just chanting the holy name of the Lord. So that can burn the millions of lifetimes of sinful activities which we have in our heart. So just by chanting the holy name. See, even chanting the holy name of the Lord, one can get rid of millions of lifetimes of sinful reactions. And what to speak of the Lord Himself rendering devotional service to Him with more love and faith. And even we see the great personalities like Srila Prabhupada, they don't have any material qualities. And what to speak of the Lord? He is Nirmala. And we should always remember the distinction between the spiritual and material. So what is the main difference between the spiritual and material? Consciousness. So that the only difference between material and spiritual worlds is the remembrance of the Lord. As soon as we forget the Supreme Lord, so that is material, and when we are in conscious and remembrance of the Supreme Lord and spiritual. And when we remember the Supreme Lord and there is no material qualities can touch us. Because in the material world, the material modes are there to give, they, they, they facilitate the living entity to experience material world. Because we are spirit soul. So we are Satchidananda. Eternal, blissful, and fully knowledgeful. So when we are in the material world, we have to experience this, experience this material world to enjoy for our own self. So in order to experience the material world, material modes are there, passion, goodness, and ignorance are there. But this passion, ignorance, and goodness is, is not, the material modes are not there in the Supreme Lord. Not only in the Supreme Lord, the devotees also, those who are completely dedicated to the Lord and always chanting the holy names of the Lord. 
So, <coughs> and the Lord is supremely transcendental. Since the Lord is tr supremely transcendental, so no activity is contaminated with the material modes. So, although whether he is killing or whether he is saving, both are absolute. So, the many people ask, um, you know, they, they ask, why Lord is encouraging Pandavas to fight in the battlefield of Kurukshetra? So, if Lord is omnipresent and omnipotent, he can, he can do something else. Why he has to kill? And why he is, you, your Arjuna is such a nice gentleman, he is telling that I don't want to fight, I don't want to kill, but your Krishna is encouraging them to kill. So, what kind of God he is? People do ask this, correct? But, you know, many, many yogis and rushis, so they, in the Brahma Samhita we read, that Pantastukoti Shatavatsara Sampragamyo Vayor Atapi Manasa Munipungavana. So, they undergo so much trouble, so many lifetimes, they do tapasya to get liberation. So, that is so, so time taking. But, those people, those persons, soldiers who were killed in front of the Lord, everyone got liberation. Sayucha Mukti. And it is so difficult for a normal person to attain. So, you, we can see, the, even the enemies who are killed by the Lord, they are getting liberation and what to speak of devotees. And that's why Lord's, even we see the famous verse um, which Sukadeva Goswami got attracted to, Aho Bakiyam Stanakala Kotam. So, when Putana had come to kill, with the intention to kill the Lord, even Putana got liberation and she got position of a mother, nurse in the spiritual world. Even to somebody approach the Lord to kill, even Lord has given the highest position. And what to speak of a devotee who is approaching the Lord to serve him, even though undergoing all the troublesome just to please the Lord. So that's why Brahmaji says, so those who are undergoing the trouble, still he, they are continuing service of the Lord. He says, that's their rightful climb to achieve the kingdom of the Lord. So, any, any trouble comes in our life. So, only thing we need to remember is the shelter of the Lord. So, that's why in the Queen Kunti prayers, Kunti Maharani, you know, one of the places, it mentions another. So, who is actually another? You know, in, in material world, orphan means those who doesn't have parents, any caretakers, they are called anatha. But we are not anatha. <laughs> so, actual anatha is one who doesn't have the shelter of the Supreme Lord. He is anatha, not the one who doesn't have parents or any caretakers. So, when we are under the shelter of the Lord, we are sanatha. <laughs> and Living a life uh, under the shelter of the Lord is Sanatana Dharma. So that we always have to ensure that whether I am taking shelter of the Supreme Lord or whether we are taking shelter of the material world or material possessions, name, fame or whatever. So that's, that, that we always have to discriminate in any situation in our life. And and it is mentioned, the more one advances in spiritual consciousness, the less he is affected by the dualities of material qualities. What are the dualities of material qualities? In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains, Icha Dvesha Samudvena, Dvanda Mohena Bharata. So these are the two material qualities, Icha or Dvesha. We don't have any third option. Either we pleased by the activity or the result, or we displeased by the activity of result. So, we don't have anything in this material. But when we completely surrender to the Lord's instructions, so we are, we get the third option. Oh, it's whatever comes is the mercy of the Lord. Marobi, Rakobi, Jokichumara, Arpilutuva Mura, Nanda Kishore. Marobi, Rakobi, whether you protect me or whether you leave me. So, it's up to you, O the Lord. 
So that should be our mood. So this comes in the initial days, it may not be possible. But as we progress in the spiritual life, as we understanding the scriptures, understanding Srimad Bhagavatam. So Bhagavatam is not just a you know one-time reading book. Bhagavatam is a life. It's a life of a devotee. So Nityam Bhagavata Saya, that's why. So as we read Srimad Bhagavatam, we see how our Lord is acting, you know, acting in our day-to-day activities, not just once, not just twice. Every movement, every activity, so we don't feel separation from the Lord. So we see the protection of the Lord at every stage. We have many times you know, people ask, oh, uh, you know, one time one person was asking me when my mother passed away, how come you are a devotee, you become a devotee, how come your mother can pass away? He said, you know, is there anybody in this world that didn't pass away? He said, no. Do you think you will live forever? He said, no. Death is inevitable, but when you are passing away, where you go is matters. Do you know where you go? He said, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, but it all, but the Lord promises in Srimad Bhagavatam, Yamim Vapi Smaran Bhavan Tidaktante Kalevaram. So he says, whoever leaves the body remembering of me, and they will reach me. And Krishna giving assurance. So, when we reach to the spiritual world, there is no need of taking birth again. <laughs> he said, do you think it's a good deal? He said, yeah. So, Krishna is taking the person and he is giving the eternality and taking back to the spiritual world. Do you think it's a great thing? He said, yes. So, it, so if we think that, oh, I become a devotee, I don't get any problems, I don't get any you know, troubles, I don't get to die, I don't become old, I don't get disease. So, if we think that, we are the fool number one. So, problems will come, problems will go, but only thing is, how we are taking shelter of the Lord is matters. And next is mentioned, the Supreme Lord, therefore, must be certainly be freed from these qualities, and his enmity and friendship are external features presented by the material energy. So, Lord Bhagavad Gita in Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, Samoham Sarvabhuteshu Name Dveshastina Priya. So, he says, Samoham Sarvabhuteshu, I am equal to everybody, and I don't have Name Dveshastina Priya. So, I don't have any enmity with anybody and I don't have any friendship with anybody. But Krishna says, those who are my devotees, I take special care. Now, what to speak of the Lord, even in the material world also, even the greatest personalities, they, they may pose that I am equal to everybody. But when it is come to their own family members and the friends, they, they show special you know, attraction for them, special care for them. So why can't it should be there for the Lord? But if he is enemy to only certain, okay, you are a devotee, you are not my devotee, so you are not my devotee, so you are Asura, I will give all the trouble. Lord is not doing that. Lord is providing all, all the necessities for all the living entities from eternally. Correct. Nityo nityanam chetanas chetananam. Ekosh bhajnam yo vidudati kaman. He is supplying necessities for each and every living entity. So there is no enemy and no friends. But those who are devotee, he will special, gives a special mercy for them, special treatment for them. So that's why, as soon as one started taking the shelter of the Lord, so in the Brahma Samhita it is mentioned that so, karmani nirdasi kintucha bhakti vadam. So, just by doing devotional service, our karma is in the control of the Lord. So, He will orchestrate for the devotee. Because He is absolute. Whether He kills or bestows His favor. Because He is transcendental. And our friendship in the material world, envy and friendship arise in one who is imperfect. So, in, in general, we in the material world for a normal person, he feels one as a friend, one as an enemy based on what benefit he gets. 
But for a devotee, so the only supreme benefit we can do for the others is bringing them to Krishna, closer to Krishna. So that's why when we, when we do book distribution or when we do prasadam distribution or when we are speaking to somebody, so what we are actually doing is generating Agnyata Shukriti for them to bring them close. Whether they like or don't like, whether they envious or non-envious or friendly or non-friendly. So whatever situation is there, our, facil our activity should facilitate them to bring bit closer to. So we are the Sukriti generators of the people whom we are preaching. Because to render devotional service only quality is the Agnyata Sukriti which is generated by a devotee or the mercy of the devotee. Whereas if we don't see a person that I, I, am, give, I am helping him, he is my friend or he is my enemy, you know, that, that actually brings our consciousness down. So whenever we meet any family friend or any friend or the colleague or anybody, so we should go beyond this envy and friendship. We should go beyond this envy and friendship. We should act in such a way that somehow or other this spirit soul should come closer to the Lord. Otherwise, imperfections will arise. Because in the material world, every situation is a temporary. Happiness or the distress are the temporary. <clears throat> so we fear our enemies because in the material world, we are always in need of help. And the Lord, however, does not need anyone's help. So we, we see sometimes Lord is taking help of somebody, like, um, like Kurukshetra war. So as it, it appears as if Lord is taking help, help of Pandavas to kill all the miscreants. But what happens at the end of Kurukshetra? All the Pandavas were fighting each other, of course not fighting each other, but they were arguing, oh, I am the great person, I killed many people, I am greatest. And Duryodhana, was, uh, sorry, Bhima was telling, no, I killed the great, I killed many people. Then everyone compromised and asked, okay, but uh, Babri was seeing, we will ask him. They go and ask, you know, I didn't see any of you fighting. It was Krishna who is releasing the arrow and everybody is, everywhere I see Krishna is acting. Krishna is killing everybody. So even Arjuna also sees when Lord shows him the Virat Rup. So he says, Krishna is killing everybody. That's why Krishna says, you know, you just act. You just talk, act on my behalf. So Krishna doesn't need anybody's help. But he, although he doesn't need anybody's help, he gives opportunity to us to serve him. So in that way, that's, that's his special mercy. So be, Krishna is Purnam. Om Purnam idam Purnam adha Purnat Purnam Udachyate. So Krishna is completing it, himself. So he doesn't need anything external, but when a devotee serves the Lord, it is beneficial for us. So that's why we should not think that, oh, I am doing a favor by buying fresh vegetables or fresh uh, flowers or I am making garland. It's not that we are doing anything, any favor for the Lord, but actually by serving the Lord, we are getting that benefit. That's why in the Prahlad Maharaj prayers, Prahlad Maharaj says that, it's like, you know, if you decorate your face and go in front of the mirror, the reflection also looks decorative. So similarly, when we are decorating the Lord, because we are reflection of the Lord, so our consciousness, our, we feel happy. So that's what we see. So that's what we should practice in each and every situation, whether I, my activity is really benefiting to the Lord, benefiting to everybody, whether my spiritual consciousness is increasing or not. So if that is there, is okay. And similarly, he does not fear the asuras. Thus, there is no question of partiality in the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So in Krishna, his activity, there is no partiality. But the partiality which he shows is to benefit the devotee.
So that's what we see he, when he killed, when he encouraged Bhimasen to kill Jarasan. So although he showed partiality to Pandavas, but it is for the elevation. And he is Desha Kala Supatragnya. So Krishna's one of the qualities is he knows what activity to be performed according to the Desha Kala and Patra. So and he will make sure that is beneficial for the devotee to ultimately to reach him. So that's what um, we see in the Srimad Bhagavatam. So when um, in the first canto when the sages ask one of the questions is why does Lord appear in this world? What is the answer? Because Lord appear in this world to take us to him. So that's the only purpose and every activity he does is for that one single purpose. And for the same purpose, we see that all the Acharyas are coming for the same purpose. Scriptures are there. Only one purpose is to take us back to home, back to Godhead. So in that activity, in that taking us to back to Godhead, sometimes we may see the Acharyas, maybe devotees are acting in a partial way, but that partiality is for, for the benefit of the devotee to take us to back. Okay, I'll stop here. If you have any questions or comments, I'll take and any corrections. Hare Krishna. Sivya, Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Um, you you were talking about Amir Gadi, he got the um, association of Narad Muni and he got purified. So my question is, we get a lot of association through chanting, hearing lectures and prasadam, but we're not like purified like them. So what is lacking in our sadhana? Very good. Sai. <laughs> Same question I should ask myself. <laughs> what is lacking? So it, as I said, it's a gradual progress. We can see the very question you ask, why is it's what is lacking in me? That is an advancement. The very thought is an advancement in the spiritual life. So otherwise, who will get that kind of thought? Isn't it? So only when we are purified and even to get that thought itself is a purification and advancement. Even to get, oh, why still anardas are there in my heart? Why I'm not making progress? So that is actually a healthy doubt one should have all the time. So that's a healthy doubt one should have and healthy introspection. So why I am not progressing? It's very good because you ask that question, you are already progressing. <laughs> So holy name and those whoever associate with you also get Shukriti. They also, because there are so many other Mrugaris you associate in the school and outside. So just by seeing a devotee, one will get advancement. Also. And we always have to introspect as we are progressing whether I am committing any offences. So that's why we have ten offences in the holy name. So we have to check whether I am committing any offences or not and whether I am committing any Vaishnava Paradas, Seva Paradas, Nama Paradas. So we always good to check. So if anything is happening, okay, better take a step back, ask devotees, you know, I am going through this situation then devotees will guide, maybe you are not chanting attentively, maybe you are you know, committing so and so, or maybe you are doing this. So in that way, we can check and balance. And, and it is mentioned that, so bhakti is a guidance culture. So in our progress, so we always seek guidance from the senior devotees. So, so we always, have to, re, like in a school you have um, progress cards, right? 
so they give you marks how you are studying what marks so similarly every week or once in a month you can report to your mother ask or oh, these many rounds i have chanted and these many rounds i chanted attentively and this much reading i have done so you can you can you know report to your mother that's another way to you know see the advancement and advancement some advancement it's not just externally somebody can guide you know see judge so it is internal so one can see um, in his own heart so how how transformation you are going through what kind of transformation it's like if you are so hungry nobody can see your hunger unless you tell but how you know that your hunger is satisfied because as you are eating in the first you first morsel of food you feel that stomach is filling as you are eating and eating you know it comes to a point that you feel satisfied and you get energy so similarly the advancement we can feel every individual person Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. If you don't have any other question, we'll stop here. Thank you very much. Grandra Ashramad Bhagavatam ki jai. Shila Prabhu Bhad ki Anta Goti Vaishnavam ki jai. Vanchakal Patarubhya Shaka Prasanna Vajra Padita Nambhava.